Uh, all right, just a quick tutorial here on a couple of things. Uh, we're going to learn how to plot points onto a graph using this program, GeoGebra. Uh, you can use GeoGebra, you can download it, or you can use it as a web app, as a Google app. Uh, we're going to plot points, and then we're also going to fit lines to that. And finally, once we fit those lines, we're going to uh, find the R squared value for those lines. Uh, first of all, when you open up GeoGebra, it'll look something like this. You've got the graphics view here, and you've got the algebra view here. Um, when you're going to plot these points, you'll also need another view, uh, the spreadsheet view. So just go up to view here, click spreadsheet, and a spreadsheet will pop up up here. Uh, now, you'll want to put your values in here. Um, try to use the, uh, the peak and there's six values, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you're better off using a couple more, so I'm going to use eight. Just copy them over here. And then I'm just going to put my hours here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, once you've done that, you can highlight those points and then go over here to where it says create list, and you'll create a list of points. Uh, okay, that all looks good. You won't have to play with any of this. That's all fine. Click create and you can see our points appear here and our points also appear here as individual points or individual coordinates. Now, once we've done that, we can fit uh, lines to that. We can fit all sorts of lines, linear equations, quadratics, uh, any kind of polynomial, um, exponential, logarithmic, uh, a sine curve, whatever you want. In order to do that, you go down here to your input window and you can type in, and you, you need to make sure that you type it correctly, capital F I T, and then there's a whole different, a whole bunch of different ones that you can use. You can see them all there. I, uh, I'm going to use this one here, fit sign, so it's capital F I T, capital S I N. Open uh, a square bracket, make sure you use a square bracket, and inside that square bracket, you're going to type the list that you want to use, and that list is list1, so you just type in list1. Okay, you can see that it creates a sine curve. It also tells you over here that your sine curve is 0. Point, it tells you the equation of your sine curve right there. Um, okay, so that's fitting a sine curve. You can you can get rid of that sine curve by clicking this button on and off. You can also get rid of individual points by doing the same thing. Okay, you can fit um, you can fit an exponential. That's capital F I T capital E. Again, open a bracket list one, and you can see our exponential appear here. I'm just going to get rid of that. You can fit a polynomial. Now, when you fit a polynomial, it's just slightly different. Fit capital P-O-L-Y. And then you type list 1, just like you normally do. But then you need to put a comma, and you need to say what order polynomial you want. So if you want it to be a quadratic, 2, a cubic, 3, whatever you want it to be. I'll just put in a 2 for a quadratic. You can see here's our quadratic. Here's the equation of our quadratic. Sometimes you'll need to move this over so you can see the whole equation. Uh, and it does it does pretty much anything that you want it to do. If you want to see the different things it can do, just type in capital F I T and then scroll through here to see all the different types of curves that it can do. Okay, so uh, so far we figured out how to make all these points appear by putting them into the spreadsheet and then going up to there, going up to there to create a list of points. Once we created that list, then we learned how to fit a whole bunch of different curves, fitting a sine curve, fitting an exponential, fitting a um, polynomial. The last thing you want to do is be able to uh, come up with an R squared value for each of these. So if I want to come up with an R squared value for my sine curve, the way that I can do that is by typing in the following, R capital S, so capital R cap capital S, Q U A R E. Now follow the um, the prompts. You need to say which list of points you're using for the R squared value, and also which function you're using. 
So I'm using, open a square bracket, I'm using list one, comma, uh, and the function I'm using is the sine function f of x. Hopefully that works. Okay, now where'd the r square value appear? The r squared value has appeared here, number a equals one. Uh, you can see number a r squared list one. So uh, perfect, perfect um, r squared value here. Now, if we did another one, just to show you how this can continue working, capital R, capital S, Q, U, A, R, E. Uh, oops, open a big bracket. Again, list one, but this time we're going to look at the correlation between this and the exponential function that we created. So that's G of X. Uh, just be careful with your nested brackets, square brackets, and then inside there, G of X with the with the curved brackets. Okay, and we can see that G, G of X has a lower R squared value of 0 0.77. That's to be expected because it looks more like this. You can see it doesn't fit the dots as well. Um, that's about it. Uh, you can do things like right-click your function uh, and show the label of it or unshow the label. Uh, you can go to object properties. I can also show the value. So when I show the value, you'll see uh, there it is there. It's showing what the equation is of that function. Uh, you can also just go up here, type in in text. So if you wanted to type the R squared value in, you could type it in there. R squared. Uh, you can use latex if you want to, which will uh, let you do uh, squared so it appears properly equals uh, 0 0.77 okay so if you want to let uh, text appear in there you can do that as well okay that's um, that's GeoGebra and some of the stuff that you can do creating list of points uh, fitting lines or fitting equations to those points and finally finding R squared values for those functions